Hello, uh, today I'll be showing you the Asus P5NT Deluxe 780i motherboard and the Intel's Q9650 CPU. Uh, these two parts are the only two parts that aren't new for my system. This is manufacturer refurbished and this is just second hand. Just to get it clear that. Open this up. This is the input output shield at the back. I have to buy that separately. The only thing that came was the motherboard in this box, as soon as it was manufactured for us. So the motherboard screws. Let's the motherboard. Okay, we've got the motherboard here now. Uh, there's not a lot I can show you. Uh, I will just point out some bit parts of the motherboard um, and well after we'll go over some uh, specifications more in detail of what each is so first of all we've got the CPU socket 775 supports Pentium D processors right up to quad cores the 45 nm uh, we've got the copper pipe and copper fin coolant from here down to the north bridge and still down to the south bridge. We've got DDR2 1066 memory sockets here. We'll be putting the Corsair's Dominator, 4 gig of that in here. It's 8 gig maximum. If you want to go that far, don't see the point. We've got the input output at the back. Four USBs, we've got Ethernet, all your audio ports, uh, Fire Wire, I think it is, ESA, I'm not sure what that is, and the old PS2 um, keyboard and mouse sockets. We've got uh, three X16 graphics, uh, PCI sockets, because this motherboard can support try SLI I won't be doing that um, I just I've got one 5870 I think that's plenty so that'll do um, let's go on the bottom we've got SAT ports here at the side which are really nice six of them so good for cable management at the side got the 24 pin inside also great cables management out of the way the bit for your CD drive I think this is for the floppy or it could be the other way around don't see why you use floppy anymore uh, so technology I've got the 4 pin or 8 pin uh, it's 8 pin uh, bit for the power to the motherboard as well better for cable management and that's basic overview of it and we'll just run over some specifications now some of the specifications are three USB connectors that support an additional six USB ports a floppy disk connector, an IDE connector, six SATA connectors which does support uh, RAID if you want to run that the Intel Socket 77 core uh, core 2 quad compatible NVIDIA N4780 ISL SLI chipset front uh, front side bus speed going from 800 megahertz up to 1333 megahertz DDR2 memory going from 667 megahertz up to 1066 megahertz with an 8 gigabyte maximum and has three PCI X16 slots which supports Tri SLI uh, on three identical cards, two PCI one slots and a standard PCI slot. What I also have with me is second hand Intel Q9650 3GHz stock clock, second hand, £185 in second hand, good bit of money. But only the top end quad cores 
Um, without going to the extreme series. Here we are. I know you can't read that, I'm pretty sure you can't, so I'll read it out. It says Intel Q6, Q9650, um, Intel Core 2 Quad, SLB8W Melee, 3GHz. So that's that. Too exciting, just CPU. We try it. Should be easy enough on that motherboard. And this uh, to get up to 4 gigahertz, 3 gigahertz stock. I think it's quite manageable. Be extremely happy with that. Pretty powerful system. And uh, now we'll just go over some specifications. We will now run down some specifications for the Intel Core 2 Quad Q9650 processor. It has four cores, four threads, a clock speed of 3 GHz, an L2 cache of 12 MB, bus core ratio 9, front side speed 133 3 MHz, uh, lithography 45 Nm and has a VID voltage range from 0.8500 volts to 1.3625 volts.